Hello, and welcome to this in-source production of using NAD, or Network Application Development, with Wonderware Modern InTouch applications. How to set up and configure. These are the basic components in Dataflow. We'll be working with a development node where we will develop our application and push changes down to a runtime node, uh, which we call a client. The runtime node then will communicate with a PLC in runtime mode. Now let's begin. Now we begin the process by first going to our development node or what we call the master node. And on this, this node, let's take a look at the application uh, that we want to share out through uh, NAT or Net Network Application Development. Okay, this appears to be the one that we want. Uh, it's, in, uh, it's a modern application, so I'm going to minimize this. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Windows Explorer and I'm going to locate where this application um, is in a folder. And I see it here, not a problem. And I'm going to share this folder out with specific people. And I'm going to share it with everyone. I'll simply click here and add it and I'll give everyone read write permissions and I'll just select share and done. Now for now uh, this is this is all we have to do on the master node or the development station. Now let's move on to the remote uh, viewing node. On the re uh, remote viewing node uh, the first thing I want to do is open up Windows Explorer and I'm going to map a network drive uh, to the location where my InTouch application is being stored. And I'll, okay, it's in uh, Acme HMI01 InTouch application. This is our shared directory. And also I'm going to select reconnect at logon. That's uh, really important. And I'll click finish. And we see that we have our application. Now I'm going to open up uh, InTouch Application Manager and I'm going to go to Tools and go to Node Properties and I'm going to uh, enable Network Application Development and just simply click OK. Now let's take a look at that again. One thing that you uh, want to take note of is the change mode. I have it set to prompt user uh, to restart window viewer uh, but you can choose any one of these options uh, based on your environment. Now I'll head back to tools and we're going to find our application. We'll navigate to our, uh, our Z drive in this case, our network drive and we'll locate our individual application and select OK. And at this point, we can now open up the application in Window Viewer. Now, prior to doing this, it's, it's also a good idea to um, ensure that you can actually ping uh, the uh, other node or the master node to make sure there's no network issues. Now, we see in this application here that it wants to start uh, a Modbus TCP.exe I.O. server. But on this particular node, for demonstration purposes, we don't have that. And so I'm just going to say no. And it wants to start his data. Just simply say yes. Now, this will bring up that application, but obviously I'm not getting any type of I.O. because I don't have that DA server. So I need to make a change. But I have to do that change on the master node. So I'm going to head back to the master node. Now, back at the master node, I'm going to open up Window Maker, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure in the access name to reflect uh, the new uh, DA server that's on the remote node. So I'll just select Modify, and as opposed to MBTCP, I'm going to say DAS MBTCP, and click OK, and then close. Now at this point I have to notify the remote client so I'll go to the special menu option come down and select notify client 
and I could just, at this point I can simply exit out or it's at this it's publishing orchestra symbols but once that's done I can exit out of the application all right it's finished and I can exit out of the application and now I'm gonna go back to the remote node on the remote node we can see that the there has been a change and now I'm being prompted to restart window viewer and I just simply select yes it'll shut down window viewer it'll restart window viewer and now I have my IO That concludes this video on how to set up a modern app InTouch application for use with NAD. Thank you. Need to learn more about this and other InSource products? Check out our training tracks designed to guide you down your learning path for InSource products. Whether you're using a classic InTouch and historian architecture or using system platform, we have a track to help you get the most out of your software investment. To register or learn, learn more, click the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching this in-source video.